Danielle, what did you bet tonight? Uh, well, let's just say Oregon State has some work to do in yeah. the second half, which has finally got underway here. Mm -hmm. um, they are down by 17. They've scored 17 points themselves. Fewer points um, than minutes played. Yeah, not great, not great. Um, How many times so, have we said this during oh, this tournament? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I got Oregon State plus eight, and I also took them on the money line for some fun. And then I have Baylor minus seven and a half. Big number there, but Baylor, I mean, supposed to be the number two team. They should be showing up here. I don't think much of Arkansas based on what I've seen so far. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have going on tonight. All right. No, uh, no nothing in hockey. Your, your bread and no, butter sport. No, no, no. I've actually been doing pretty well in college basketball, um, despite how this looks right now. Wait, we, um, we buried the headline. Your UCLA Bruins are still alive. Yeah. How excited are we? I uh, have to live through another game. <laughs> You don't sound very confident. <laughs> oh, I thought she was toast after that game yesterday. I, I was I was feeling bad for Danielle already uh, after they didn't foul up three. Oh my gosh. It was it was constant. There was no point in that game that I felt comfortable, even up eleven at the half. I even up eleven. I told the story off air, I told it this morning. So one of one of the best betters I know, he he does things at ends of games mm -hmm. and every once in a while <laughs> they will come back and murder him. So the announcers, and I'm not sure who it was. Was it Jim Sparkle and Ryan Eagle? Was it this group tonight? I think uh, yes. it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think it was Spinarkle. Don't hold me to that. Um, went out of his way to point out when, uh, by the way, a uh, quick four points to start things off for the uh, Beavers in the second Here half. Kalu with all four. So it's 34-21 uh, now, Houston, uh, two minutes in. Um, so UCLA is up three. The yeah. announcers are going out of their way to say, oh, Mick Cronin always fouls up three in these situations. He is a guy who fouls. As anyone would. Yeah. Um, as anyone should. Yeah. And they didn't foul. And bingo, bango. Man, that Bama team is fast. It is, it, it's a, it's a three-pointer, nothing but net. We go to overtime. So he just bet like before when, when the announcer said Mick Cronin always fouls, and I agree with this philosophy, although I, I don't make these bets. Yeah. He went in on UCLA minus like 1250 or whatever yeah. they were at that moment, figuring, well, if you foul, you're going to win this game because <laughs> you're up three. Uh, they don't. They score. So he's got this minus 1250 uh, on UCLA. Then, of course, gambler's psychology because Alabama time is where dogs go to die and, and Alabama hit what an emotional lift. He then goes nuts on the Alabama side. So he ends Which up. Did guys, not work out. guys. Yes, please. Sabres three flyers. Nothing. There it is. It's wow. gonna end. Our, our spinny helped uh, saved us. Kelly. Thank you. Spinny the spinny you guys were about us. to bet on that. We oh, were, yeah. oh, they had their finger on the button. When, like the, this. when the Sabres were down one, nothing. We were. That that was that was that was our bet, but we both mine got canceled, his got his spun, and uh, now they're down three nothing. So. I got a location error. So once again, thank you, Las Vegas sports betting apps, <laughs> for not realizing I'm currently in Las yes. Vegas. If you believe the Sabers are the worst team in the history of the NHL, you can get eleven to one on the Flyers to come back right now, plus eleven hundred. How much time is left? There is four minutes left in the second period. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Eleven to one. Hey. I, uh, dude, we got skates no. over here. Don't, the only 